it's chilly out here this morning, but it's so beautiful. So I had to bring you all out with me. <laughs> so sitting for just a moment, closing your eyes. And tuning into your inner landscape. So the full moon in Scorpio, this is actually our last super moon is today, our last super moon for this year of 2020 is today. Perhaps you saw the moon last night. So tuning into this moon, it's known as the Buddha moon, the strawberry moon, flower moon. It's a time when we can, if you're into astrology and curious about these things, this super moon, this full moon is a lot about compassion and spiritual connection. And I think that that's such a great invitation for all of us right now. Find a little more compassion for ourselves and each other, connecting with a greater whole, whatever that is for you, whether you're religious or spiritual or simply believe in our collective. So a few deepening breaths here, just connecting to whatever that is for you, a greater whole. Welcoming in insights. Welcoming in compassion. One more deep breath here. And then gently opening your eyes. Good morning. Bringing your arms by your sides. With your next inhale, sweep your arms out and up, looking up. And as you exhale, float your arms out and down, looking down. And inhale, sweep the arms out and up, looking up. Exhale, out and down, looking down. Two more times. Inhale. And then from here, let's stretch the legs out in front of us, bouncing out the knees, rolling the feet around. And let's come to hands and knees. Feel free to put your blanket underneath your knees if you'd like a little extra padding there. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, so we're a little bit wider. Take an inhale here. Exhale, round the spine, gazing towards the belly button. Inhale, tilt the pelvis, let the motion slide up the spine, belly drop, head lifts. Exhale, rounding back. Inhale, lifting. This time as we round back, we're gonna curl back towards the heels. Inhale, scooping forward, feeling the fullness of the moon in these circles. Continuing with your breath. The next time you come to the top of your mat, reverse your circles, melt your heart, press back to your heels, and then round up from the back to the front. Right. 
And the next time you come forward, coming back to a tabletop position, I'm gonna turn and face you here. So we're gonna stick the right leg out to the side, rolling the foot to the floor. Nice stretch through the inner thigh here and begin to rock forward and backward. Just getting into that hip, stretch here. You can make this a small movement or a big movement, whatever feels best to you. Keep the breath moving. And then coming back to center here. With your next inhale, lift the leg up behind you. Exhale, bring the knee and the forehead together. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, in. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, in. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, bring the foot over to the left side of the mat, toes curled under a little stand here. So you'll feel a stretch perhaps in your hips. You can shift your hips a little bit back over to the right and just breathe down to this hip stretch. If you want to go further, you can press down into your left hand, rolling open to the side, lifting your right arm up into the air. Ta-da! Couple breaths here. One more inhale. And exhale, coming back down. Inhale, lifting the leg back behind you. Exhale, bringing it to the floor. And let's take some hip circles. Moving around from the knees and going back the other way. And then we'll do the other side. So stretching left leg out, rolling the foot to the floor, keeping the hips centered and then beginning to rock backwards and forwards. Feeling into the opening in that hip, inner thigh. We're getting the hips ready to do some full moon flows. <laughs> Just a little bit. And coming back to center. Inhale, lift the leg back behind you. Exhale, knee and forehead towards each other. Inhale, lift. Exhale, in. Inhale, lift. Two more. Exhale, in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring the foot over to the right. Toes curled under, shifting the hips slightly back to the left. Nice stretch through the hips. You might just stay here and breathe. You can even come down onto your forearms if you'd like. If you'd like to go further, we're gonna pivot that back foot, press down into the right hand, lifting the left arm up. Deep breaths here. Sending you all warmth of the sunshine as we welcome the full moon. Feel that fullness of light in your heart. One more inhale. Exhale, bring the hand back down. Inhale, lift the leg back behind you. Exhale to the floor and again, hip circles.
and back the other way. Nice. And then bringing your knees together and sitting back towards your heels. If you can sit on your heels, you can do that. Oh, my fingers are frozen. <laughs> Otherwise, you can um, stay up in a upper kneeling position. We're going to do a little bellows breath here on this full moon day, clearing out any cobwebs, any stagnation, any holding inside you. Inhale, lifting the arms up, palms open. Exhale, gentle fists, pulling the arms down and whacking the upper arms against the body. So. You're going to be moving with your breath, forceful exhale, breath moving in and out through the nose. You can move at whatever pace you would like. The faster you go, the more heat you'll build. Two more. And inhale, lifting the arms up, hold the breath in. Exhale, float the arms out and down. Letting your arms rest by your sides and tuning in to the energy in your body. Clearing out space, more compassion, more connection to the whole. Nice. And then rocking forward, opening your eyes, curling the toes under, and we're going to come back to a little squat here. So on the balls of the feet, squeezing the thighs in against each other. And you might try just leaving your hands on the floor for balance, lengthening the spine. If you'd like to go further, keeping your eyes on a focal point on the floor in front of you, you can bring your hands to your heart, pressing hands in against each other, lifting through the heart. Deep breaths here. And with your next inhale, we're going to rise up to the sky, seeing if you can stay up on the balls of your feet, like a little seed in the earth, feeling encouraged by light and warmth. With your next inhale, lifting up. Okay, we can stay up on the balls of your feet, lifting up to the sky. Exhale, float the arms out and down, dropping the heels down. Very nice. So we're going to come into our flow here. I'm trying to think which way I need to start. I'll start over here. So um, coming to the top of your mat, finding Tadasana pose, feet hip width apart, Soft knees, lifted hearts. Yay, beautiful spring day. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen this one. Exhale down, place the hands, step the right foot back behind you. Finding high or low lunge. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, touch the mat. Pivoting the right heel to the floor, left toes come in and come up to center. We're gonna be in a wide squat. So your, your toes will go out to the sides a little bit. So then holding the full moon around your head. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, lean over to the right, keeping your head between your arms here. And inhale, come up to the left. Go back the other way. Little squat. Inhale up. Exhale, float the arms out and down. Turning the left toes out, right heel drops back. We're gonna throw a triangle pose in here. Inhale. And as you exhale, shift your right hip back, reaching with your left fingertips. And then windmill the arms around. Looking up if that's comfortable.
keeping the spine elongated as much as you can here. Deep breaths. If you want a little more challenge, you can try bringing the hand to the inside of the leg so you're not resting on it so much. Just letting it support you a little bit. Just take an inhale here and then exhale, bending into the left knee, bringing the hands down. Press back to down dog. Bending one knee deeply and then the other. Stretching through the backs of the legs. With your next inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat. High or low lunge, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Keep the arms lifted. Two deep breaths. Full moon expansion. One more inhale. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, step left foot forward. Exhale, hang forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Stand all the way up, reach to the sky. Interlace the hands above the head fingertips, or sorry, except for the index finger pointing up. Take an inhale here. I'm going to come to a wider straddle so you all can see. You can do that too if you want. Inhale here. Exhale around to the right. I'm drawing a big circle here. And then we'll go back to the left. And then releasing the arms out and down, interlacing the hands behind the back, roll the shoulders, inhale, lift, arms, heart, and gaze. Removing fears, removing obstacles. Connection to a greater whole, inhale here, exhale, bowing forward. With your next inhale, bend your knees slightly. Inhale, coming back. Nice, and step back to the top of your mat. Finding Tadasana pose. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale, down, place the hands. Step the left foot back behind you, high or low lunge. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, touch the mat, pivoting left heel to the floor. Right toes come in a little bit, sweeping through center and coming up to hold the beautiful moon above your head. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, we're gonna go around to the left this time. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, go to the right. Keep the head between the arms if you can. Inhale, exhale, float the arms out. Right toes go out, left toes come in. I'm gonna take an inhale here. And as you exhale, shift the left hip back, reach with the right arm and then windmill the arms around for a triangle pose. Looking up if that's comfortable for you. You can rest the right hand on your right leg if you would like, or bring the palm facing out to the inside of the leg or the ankle. See if you can keep the spine straight. Nice triangle pose. One more inhale. And exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, step back, down dog. Moving in any way that feels good to you here. And with your next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat. High or low lunge, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale here and two more breaths.
One more inhale. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, step right foot forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Stand all the way up. Reach to the sky, interlace the index, sorry, interlace the hands, index finger pointing up. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, draw a big circle around to the left. Inhale, coming back up to the right. Exhale, go back to the right. Inhale, up to the left. Exhale, float the arms out and down, interlacing the hands behind the back. Roll the shoulders. Inhale, lift, arms, heart, and gaze, deep breath. One more inhale, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, coming back up, exhale, release, and come back to the top of your mat. We're going to do a little full moon flow one more time on each side. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale down, place the hands, step the right foot back behind you, pivoting the heel, windmilling the arms up. Toes out to either side, finding that moon around your head. Little squats. Take an inhale here. Exhale around to the right. Inhale up. Embodying that fullness. Exhale around. Inhale up. Shining your light. Exhale, float your arms out and down. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Pivoting the heels back to the right. Or the left, sorry. Coming down to the mat. Press back down, dog. Exhale here. Deep breaths. Moving if that feels good. Being still if that feels good. With your next inhale, Pull forward towards a plank pose and then drop your hips. Keep the legs floating if you can. And lift the heart for an up dog. And then engaging the core, press back down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through for a pigeon pose. We're going to slide that left leg back. We're just gonna flow briefly here in pigeon. So coming up onto your fingertips. If pigeon is not available to you, you can do a lunge here and do the same little flow, okay? So if you want to, you can do this lunge and we're just gonna flow with the breath. So inhale, lifting up tall through the heart. Exhale, floating out over the leg. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, coming up. Last time, exhale, coming forward. Inhale, coming up. Placing palms down, curling that back toes under, press back down. Inhale, look up past the hands and step, walk, or jump to the top of your mat. Exhale, hang in a forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Stand all the way up. Reach to the sky. Palms press together. Exhale, hands to the heart. We'll go right into the other side. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale down, place the hands, left foot back behind you, pivoting the heel, coming up. Nice wide straddle, finding your moon around your head. 
sitting down into a squat. Inhale here. Exhale around to the left. Inhale up. Beautiful moon around to the right. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, float your arms out. Pivoting the heels. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, coming down. And pressing back. Down dog. Moving or finding stillness here, whatever feels best to you. Inhale, lift left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring in through pigeon pose on this side, or you can come into a lunge, whatever is best for you. Make sure your hips are square, you're not hanging out over on the left hip. Inhale, lifting the heart. You can be in a lunge here too if you want. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale up. Exhale, placing the hands flat. Curling the back toes under and press back to a down dog. With your next inhale, pull forward to a plank pose and then drop the hips, scoop the heart forward, up dog, floating the legs if you can. Engaging the core, press back, down dog. Nice. Inhale, lift the left leg. Oh no, we're gonna inhale, look up past the hands. Step walker, jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, hang forward, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Stand all the way up, reach to the sky. Palms pressed together. Exhale, hands to the heart and we'll swing the arms side to side. Nice. I'm feeling a little warmer. I hope you are too. Really cultivating compassion for ourselves and each other during this time. So helpful. And if we have a moon to help us do that, even better. Hands to the hips. Take a big circle with the hips. And going back the other way. From here, we'll come down to the mats. Onto our backs, hugging the knees into the chest. And rock a little side to side. Then placing the feet on the floor, hip width apart, in close to your body. Nothing underneath your head. With your next inhale, Lifting the hips up towards the sky. Exhale, lowering back down for a bridge pose. If you feel warm enough and wheel poses in your practice, you're welcome to come into wheel pose, which is a full back bend. Otherwise, inhaling up. Exhale, lowering down. One more time. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lowering down, feeling that expansion in the front body. And then exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Let your knees come away from each other. Reach through the inside of the knees. Grab onto the outside of the feet or the ankles. Or happy baby pose. Rocking a little side to side here. And then releasing down, coming to Shavasana of your choice. Maybe you have a blanket rolled up under your spine. Maybe you have your knees bent with them falling in against each other. Maybe you have your feet together with your knees open. Letting your arms rest by your sides, wherever you choose to be. Closing your eyes. And sinking into stillness, soft. 
softening here. Feeling the light of the full moon and the sunshine welcoming you to shine your light out into the world. Creating inner peace from inner connectivity, from deepening compassion, from a willingness to show up to the conversation every day that this life holds. Bring your awareness back to the surface of your body. Begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And as you're ready, bend one knee and then the other, placing your feet on the floor. And come to rest over on your right side. Taking a breath here and keeping your eyes closed and your attention internal, gently press your way up to find a seat. <clears throat> Sitting with your eyes closed, allow these words by Rudolf Steiner to wash over you. This is a poem called A Verse for Our Time. We must eradicate from the soul all fear and terror of what comes towards us out of the future. We must acquire serenity in all feelings and sensations about the future. We must look forward with absolute equanimity to everything that may come. And we must think only of whatever comes is given to us by a world directive full of wisdom. It is part of what we must learn in this age, namely to live out of pure trust without any security in existence. Trust in our ever present help of the spiritual world truly Nothing else will do if our courage is not to fail us and let us seek the awakening from within ourselves every morning and every evening. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart, pressing your thumbs in to feel your heartbeat, your personal pulse. And feel that heartbeat connected to all the other heartbeats in the world. Knowing that we can unify and create a better future, a more aligned future, a more compassionate future. And it can start with you right here today on this Scorpio full moon in May. Deep breath of gratitude, creating that alignment inside yourself, gratitude flowing out to all the cells in your being. Thank you all so much for joining me for practice this morning. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.